we will install the XFCE4 desktop. This desktop is based on the GTK Plus uh, toolkit, which is the same graphic user interface build up as the GNOME desktop. There is a big difference that this desktop is very much lighter compared to the GNOME desktop. So what we need is the XORG server and we also need to have the XFCE4 desktop. I begin with downloading the XORG package. So you make this command pkg underscore add. The option R stands for the remote for FTP transfer and the XORG is the package I'm looking for. We are back from making a jump in the video. The reason why I was jumping is that this package takes a little bit of time and I want to save some time for the YouTube video format. So after we've been installing the XORG, we need to install the XFCE, so let's do it also so we have this finished. It's the same command. But instead of XORG, it's XFCE4. So uh, since this is downloading also, I will make a little pause here in the video also and jump forward. And we're back from the pause. Uh, as you might notice that I can tell you that from starting my real tutorial and making all the jumps, the installation for me has been taking now 6 minutes to get the package when I'm on the proper mirror. Uh, this is a clear significant symbol that all these packages are very much fewer, lesser or how to say, than compared to the KDE4 and the GNOME desktop. So what I can tell about this desktop is that you will not need to make any advanced XORG configuration like you normally have to do on window managers like Fluxbox. Uh, well, the options are not so difficult after all if you run uh, Fluxbox, but it's uh, quite more work compared to this type of desktop. But I forgot to mention that we will find an error inside of this uh, configuration that is a standard one. And it's uh, since you make an installation of the FreeBSD and you make the desktop, you will forget to change the uh, uh, the host name of the local host. But we will take a look at how to change it and what error it will give. So not to confuse, I would like to start editing the etc uh, the rc.com file. I do this with my favorite VI editor. So what you noticed here is that we have a host name. Uh, remember what host name you have because this needs to be changed later. We can look at it later also to bring it up on the screen. But what you need to add here is the classical one, Haldi, which is the automatic detection of keyboard and mouse. That is uh, like a service that you need to have enabled else you will not be able to use the keyboard or mouse inside when the when the system starts the graphic and same dbus enable you need also so you just need to add these two configurations here then you just save this one and quit if you do not know how to use the vi editor you can check my tutorials of how to use the vi so after this is done we just need to add a file also, which is the uh, telling the when we make this command start x, we need to tell the system where to start the XFCE4. This is simply done by uh, I stand first in my home directory to make the cd command and I make sure that I'm in home. And then we need to add uh, the following make echo. Just going to check so I was writing it correctly. USR local bin start s xfc4. That looks okay. And then I output this to uh, to home and the point file dot file x init rc. 
and then I press return. This should add the following file here. You can see the xinitr, which contains, I'm just going to show with the cat command to show you that it has been adding this line. So now I'm good to go and uh, to just, uh, re I, I prefer to reboot after I was enabling the HALD daemon for the keyboard. So we make a reboot here, it's the simplest one. You can start the manual if you want, but it's much easier if we make a tutorial to just reboot the system. And um, I have to say something that uh, I've been getting some comments about people complaining about that I'm always using the road account and people say that it's completely wrong because you should use another user. Yes, this is very true. Uh, but when I make I'm speaking about the security issues. If you're always the road user, there is a security problem that if you get, if you access a script that has uh, dangerous information, like to remove the system files, uh, it's completely dangerous to be root. That's I'm very aware of that. But when I make tutorial videos, I really don't care about the security when you learn a system. Because when you learn a system, it's a, you will reinstall it thousands of times. But we will take later an aspect of how to make a proper security setup. But that will we wait with that. You can if you're at that level of uh, skill, you probably will find this on your own when you Google for it or if you read a free BSD manual. So okay, the system has rebooted. So if everything is okay, we should be able to make start X and it would start the XFCE4. Uh, it's a bit out of the recording screen, I apologize for this. We do like this. Here is the error message I was speaking about. Um, this is, you, you, we will uh, take a look at how to fix this. And it stands very clear that uh, it cannot look up the internet address for our local machine, but it simply just need to point the local host to that machine. So I continue anyway this time. Uh, and again, I'm, I have a wrong resolution here in the recording format, so you cannot see so much about what's down here. But I press the menu button there and I take log out because I'm going to to change the thing that we were getting an error on. First of all, I need to look at my host name. And uh, I'm, uh, as you can see, the host name is, uh, in my case, desktop.pureevil.local. So if I would like to fix this error, I have to edit the etc host file. Notice it's hosts with an S in the end. And you go down to this the lo local host IP and I just remove this line here and I add instead and then I save and quit and let's try to start X again. And there it's gone. Uh, so I'm just going to truncate this down like this. So this was removing the problem. And uh, if you're going to add extra users, you need to add the file, the X in it RC inside of each uh, user's home directory. And uh, it's uh, that's uh, very simple. It's the same as you did with the road account. Uh, but we will look later on how to install on multiple users.